Hey folks, sorry for the lighting, it's rather hot and the tripod was up at the other end of the garden and I found a shady spot so it is what it is, right? So I just edited a, a video and I don't know what happened folks, I don't know. Too much of a hurry I guess. I would try to load it up and then I would come out here in the garden and do something or go out by the chickens and do something while I was loading up, went back in and I messed it up. So I'm going to try to repeat what I said in the other video and that is about 4th of July. Now the 4th of July is something that we all celebrate, right? Well most of us celebrate. It's 4th of July weekend and it's a time where people travel. It's a time where family and friends get together and sit outside and enjoy the fresh air and have cookouts, barbecues, picnics, whatever, right? It's just kind of traditional. It's just kind of traditional. So Usually I work 4th of July, and I'm going to tomorrow as well. But folks, I know the world has gone absolutely insane. I know it has. We don't recognize our country anymore. And for some people, it's celebrating 4th of July it's not what it used to be, right? It's just not what it used to be. For those people that are wanting to <clears throat> travel any distance at all or on vacation, the we know the the flights <clears throat> excuse me. The flights are all messed up. Fuel is expensive. Everything is has gone up. Uh, you know, the whole, the whole dollar value is going down. And there's, <clears throat> people just don't have the money. They, they have had to go on vacations. So, and then the ones that are, that are flying, they don't even know if they're going to get to their destination. I've heard some horror stories, folks. So, moving beyond that. Let's get to the spirit of the 4th of July holiday. Now we may not recognize our country anymore. It's just not the same as it was a little bit ago, right? And <clears throat> allergies folks, sorry about that. And you know, we might not recognize the world. We might not recognize the country. We might not recognize the economy. We might not recognize anything, but it is 4th of July. And in our hearts, we still have to, we still are American, right? Now, I'm not, I'm not proud of our country at all, folks. I think they are intentionally destroying this country and they're doing it at a very fast clip, right? So, even though I have to work, I choose to work tomorrow. I am still going to celebrate our independence. Now, it's what's in our heart, folks. It's what's in our heart, and we carry that. We carry that pride inside each and every one of us, even though that pride isn't isn't what it used to be, right? There's a lot of uncertainty, folks. So, we have to make it right for us in our heart. Now, we may not feel like we are a free country anymore. I don't feel like there's much freedom in this country. But I'm still thankful that I am an American. I still am thankful and I I still have that pride of an American, even though it's the pride of yesteryear. 
I still have that and I still carry that and I hope for better times, right? It could be worse, folks. It really could be worse, even though it's bad now and we know it's getting better. It could be a whole lot worse. We could be born into a country where we have been hungry since the day we were born, right? Or there could be war at our doorstep from the time we were born and unable to make choices, unable to make our own decisions. We, we have had that, that luxury of freedom in this country. And even though it is, it is fast being taken away from us, we still have to carry that, that hope of freedom and that hope of that hope for our future even though we know that future is going to be a whole lot different right we still we can't let that american pride in our hearts dwindle we have to keep it going we have to keep it going if only for ourselves right that's how i'm looking at it so I know it's awful hard, it's it's an awful struggle because I'm just as disappointed and disgusted as most of you are, right? But at least we've had it good and at least we know what freedom is or what freedom was even though we don't have it much of it anymore, right? So I hope you all have a good safe holiday and keep that spirit going if only for yourself if you have kids <clears throat> if you have children don't let that spirit die with them times are changing the schools are changing our children they're teaching them they're indoctrinating our children folks so it is going to be up to us to work extra hard to kind of counterbalance that at home right so keep America alive in your hearts and I'd like to say maybe we'll wake up tomorrow morning and the whole world will change and we got thrown back into a time machine of when it was good right wouldn't that be nice this snap our fingers and there we are no no more worries no more uncertainty if it were only that simple huh if it was only that simple now yesterday was a weird day for me so but i did film and i just posted a walk around the garden but i did do some YouTube scrolling if that's even such a such a thing Which something I never ever do, but I kept hearing CERN this and CERN that s-e-r-n And there's a lot of hype about that So I'm like well, what is CERN up to now, you know and Just like with everything else there's a lot of hubbub about that a lot of fear-mongering a lot of uncertainty and there's a lot of accusations of mankind playing playing God, trying to recreate the Big Bang, the God particle. So I don't know what's going on with that. I know years and years and years ago, I'm talking a long time ago, folks, I watched this video and they interviewed Stephen Hawking. And... I remember saying, whoa, I hope they, I hope they don't go any further with that. I hope they don't achieve what they are achieving because that was pretty damn scary what I saw in that video. I think it was a documentary. And I tried to find it again, folks. I can't find it. It was years ago. But folks, I believe in science. I do. I believe that... There's a lot that man does not know. But if they're saying that there was a Big Bang that created everything and they are trying to man make a Big Bang 
even playing with it, it doesn't seem like it's a good idea. Now, you take this, this machine that smashes particles together at such a force, I can't imagine that that is, that is a good thing, but maybe it is, maybe it is. I know there's a lot of people that are scared what's going to happen um, July 5th when, they, when it's fully powered. Some people say the, that it's going to create a, a portal and the devil himself is going to come through the portal and the devil's going to take over the world. Others feel that this this portal is going to bring the angels in and they're going to save us from what's going on here. Some say that this portal is going to bring in aliens from other country, uh, from other, other universes, other planets. I don't know folks, I don't know, they're just scientists being scientists, but if it is as is as scary as some people are making it out to be because there's always going to be drama right there's always going to be a new hype there's always going to be a new distraction right there's all that's just that's just the way it is folks humans basically really stink right they do but if you've got these scientists trying to play god i just and i understand science but if you're trying to play god and trying to recreate something that we don't fully understand, I don't think that is a good idea. An experiment that that may go completely as planned, you know, safe, no harm, just learning, education, understanding, or an experiment that could go horribly, horribly wrong. So you have these these handful of scientists putting this whole planet at at danger according to some I don't I'm no I don't know folks I don't know but if they're gonna a handful of scientists is going to do it a curiosity experiment and trying to recreate the Big Bang, or trying to find the, the God particle, or trying to see how far, or how fast and how far we can push nature, it just doesn't seem right, right? You got a handful of people in the world that are hell-bent on destroying our way of life. You got a handful of scientists hell-bent on playing God. So I just, the world has gone in a, in a very wrong direction, in my opinion. It's just gone in a wrong direction. I don't think it's a safe direction. That's just my opinion. I would be interested in, in hearing what you all have to say. Now, do I believe in the hype and the panic and, and we're going to open up this great big portal and the, the whole planet Earth is going to be sucked through it? I don't know, folks. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a physicist. I, I don't know, folks. But I do know that I'm going to live, and I'm going to live my life as as full as I can get it right up until my last breath, no matter what is going to do me in. I'm just going to do that, because we only have one life and one life to live, and we've got to live it. We can't live in panic. We can't live in fear. We can't live worrying and wondering what somebody else is going to do. I like my little bubble. I like my little bubble. And what happens is what's going to happen. And I refuse to live in fear and I refuse to live in panic. So tomorrow I'll continue to do what I normally do and I'll get up early in the morning and I will go to work. I will do my job and I will come back home and I will play in my garden, play with my birds and my life will continue. And if somewhere in between there, the world blows up or it gets sucked through this 
this black hole, well, then it, it is what it is, and there's nothing I can do about it anyway, right? So, yeah. I don't know. We've got we to gotta stop playing with nature to such an extreme, in my opinion. But a lot of people would differ, say this is advancement. We'll better understand the world that we live in. We'll better understand physics. We'll better understand whatever, right? So in my, uh, how I look at it is let them, let them play and let me play, let you all play. Now, tomorrow being the 4th of July, I hope you are doing whatever you wanted to to celebrate. And if finances and the world situation uh, is, is making you make other arrangements, at least keep that pride in our, in our hearts, right? Just keep that pride in our hearts. And... And we'll get through this one way or the other, folks. In, in all this heap of mess and all this uncertainty, at least take a few moments to appreciate being born where you have been born and that you have experienced freedom and you can pass that memory on to your children and your grandchildren. And... Because I, I think the way it's going, it's we're going to be losing more and more of our freedom. So, happy 4th, folks. Happy 4th. And I probably, unless something happens tomorrow, I probably will not post tomorrow. So, y'all have a happy 4th. Appreciate what you do have. Appreciate what you've had in the past. And make the best out of what we have now even though we don't like it, right? Thank you.